Welcome, my beautiful Virgos. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card reading for the week of February the 1st to the 7th, 2021. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please be sure to hit the like button and the option to make the bell ring and you'll get notified immediately when any of our card readings, my card readings, are out here for you to view. Please know that this is the best way that you can stay active here and also you're supporting me. This is a general reading as I said. If you should desire a private reading with me, then all that information is posted below in the information box. So, my beautiful Virgos, let's see what we have here for this week for you. Your all-over energy card you've been given is absolutely fantastic. You have been given the victory card. This is the this is the six of wands, and this is victory after hard struggle. Okay, success after hard struggle. You know, this is getting recognition for something successful that you may have completed and done and you worked hard for. This is also the card of promotions and scholarships and awards. Some of you could be getting that as well. Uh, you know, a, a promotion at your place of employment. Some of you might have been taking a course and you're finally going to pass the exams and you're going to get, you know, a beautiful award and a diploma for it. But whatever you've been working hard on, my beautiful Virgos, this is a card that says you're going to see success and victory after all that hard work you've applied to this situation. Your first energy card that you've been given, and this has come out for another sign too, and I'm not sure which one it was, but this is ears wide open. And this is about you uh, keeping your wits about you, uh, not letting your emotions get carried away. Step back from your ego and start listening to other people okay start listening to the sounds around you start paying attention to what you're hearing uh, out there this is about you know basically I say putting your head to the ground and doing your and you know doing your research and listening to others as they're they're coming forward and how are they expressing themselves are you listening are you in the moment are you truly there uh, so many of us are preoccupied with our cell phones and other things that you know we're there but we're not there and this card says you need to be there a hundred percent okay this week with people around you pay attention to what they're saying your children your family your friends your co-workers whoever it is you need to be listening very carefully because there could be some information that's going to be very important for you to pay attention to you've got the wishing well and the wishing well is all about being careful what you wish for but also wishing for things that you know you can tangibly attain and collect and have so it's a beautiful card actually but it is about you know um, you know you stepping up here and being able to uh, you know wish for what's possible here and activate those possibilities I think you're working hard towards something here all right so this is about realizing <coughs> oh, excuse me <laughs> excuse me I didn't hit the pause button fast enough when the sneeze came on Oh, well, we're only human, right? So this is about knowing that if you work hard towards your dreams, you're going to get them. Okay, this is our wishing well. This is what are you wishing for? What are you working for? What are you applying your effort and investing your time into? Okay. You've also got an interesting card here, and you've got the clean up, clean it up card. And this is about <clears throat> getting maybe to the core of a situation. Uh, having to communicate with somebody, if there's been anything that's been left, you know, not completed, complete it. This is letting go of any burdens and sweeping away what no longer serves you anymore. Okay, it's time to clear the air, all right, and get rid of anything that isn't serving you anymore. Uh, you could be a little bit overwhelmed, you know. So, this is about getting things done, getting down to business. What have you been putting on the back burner? What have you been ignoring? What have you been procrastinating about? Now is the time to get at it, whether it's paying your bills, cleaning the house, getting rid of negative energy, whatever it is, this is your week to do that. Okay, you're going to be cleaning up and getting rid of what doesn't serve you anymore. So pretty interesting energy cards here coming in. The hard work and effort that you put into something this week is going to pay off. So, you know, you're investing your time in something here, going towards a goal, and you're having to pay attention and be 100% focused on what it is you're going to do this week. So just keep that in mind. 
Now, your crowning energy with your tarot card is the five of wands. And fives are usually the number that refer to struggle and challenges. But it's also the card that says you have the ability to resolve this and avoid it. So you might have to step up. You might be getting... Um, <clears throat> provoked or you might be getting uh, forced and you might be having opposition come up against you this week that's pushing you to have to defend yourself or promote yourself or explain yourself. So um, just pick your battles wisely this week uh, if this should come into play. Great card here. Two of Cups starting off with your first row here. Two of Cups, <clears throat> Judgment, and the Eight of Wands. So somebody may be coming forward here to offer you their hand and appreciation, appreciation, respect, uh, you know, um, help of some support, uh, some sort, and even it could be a, a relationship and a partnership and a love relationship. Okay, it could be romantic love, or it could just be, the, it could just be you reconciling with somebody. There could be forgiveness coming into play this week with somebody around you. But it is partnership and it, is, it suggests the marriage of minds or an actual marriage of people coming together. So you could be uh, collaborating with someone else here and communicating with someone else here creatively together, okay, uh, to work towards one particular goal here. Maybe some of you are actually going to, you know, connect and uh, move towards somebody <clears throat> in, a, in a romantic relationship for some of you. For others, it could be partnership and business, okay? So you're going to join forces with somebody um, to nurture mutual interests together. You've got the ju judgment card and there could have been a judgment call made here where you had to take a, and make a favorable assessment of what was in the past, what the si situation and circumstances around you were and you realize now you're going forward. And this is like getting a second chance. This is like having rebirth. This is like you saying, oh, thank God I can move forward. The worst is over. So, you know, this is, the, this is you making a decision here for you to move forward towards your goals this week. I think you're going to be doing that. I think you're going to be saying, wow, I can finally feel free and liberated now to go and do what I want to do. The Eight of Wands is preparing you to get busy, okay, and to realize that there's going to be a lot of activity, a flurry of activity around you. You may be getting a lot of emails. You may be getting a lot of phone calls and texts and, and things like that. And this is usually the card that says your delays are going to be over. You're going to be hitting the ground running and you're going to be very, very busy uh, with a lot of activity around you. The Knight of Wands shows up and the Knight of Wands is the card that says uh, you're going to be able to step up and maybe have your own independence and your own originality with a situation or an event. Could even be a job that you're getting offered. So be prepared to know that something's coming in here towards you that you're going to be having to pay attention to. And again, think about your ears wide open here with your with this energy card here coming in. Okay, pay attention to what these messages are. And this, this information coming into you is this event. Be willing to go in a new direction because I think you're going to be able to uh, beat to your own drum and do something with that, that you can express your own authenticity. And, you know, you're going to, you're going to be more, more creative and, <clears throat> and excited about this. This enthusiastic option and opportunity coming in to start fresh. But it could also be, I mean, it is a charming admirer here. This page of wands could be somebody coming in towards you as well who could be this, this two of cups energy here. Okay, this could be a water sign as well, but when it shows that we have a court card here, this could be somebody coming in as well to offer you their hand in a romantic way. Now, you've got the page of or the knight, pardon me, of pentacles. And he is the slowest moving knight out there. And I know it's kind of contradictory here. You're going to be getting a lot of activity going here, but this is you planning and taking your time uh, and working towards your goal, uh, not rushing into something. Okay, I think you're going to be planning something. You're going to be crossing your T's, dotting your I's, and uh, being organized here. This isn't about rushing in or charging in towards this event or this situation in your life in a hurry. So keep that in mind. Be very careful. I want you to be very careful about signing any documents or contracts this week as well. You've got the strength card and this is dealing and communicating with situations and challenges or the energy of other people around you 
with with a more compassionate understanding manner in other words you know you can catch more bees with honey than you ever will with vinegar and she's not going in there with the roar of the lion when she's being challenged or coming up against opposition this week she's going in there with the compassion and gentleness of a lamb and she's and you know and this is about realizing that you don't always have to go in with your guns blaring because what we do is we react then later we regret so when you're dealing with anybody this week do it with compassion here, okay? Do it with understanding here. And maybe you're going to do it with forgiveness. Great card coming in here, the star. The star says you are starting to showcase yourself. You're the headliner. You're out there. You're lighting your own path and you're getting recognition for it. And as I said, you're getting recognition for it with this victory after hard work and struggle, getting the rewards of that. So stand in your power, stand in your light, stay focused. Know that your your dreams here are, you know, wishing with the wishing well card are feasible and tangible. I think you've made the moves here to get rid of what no longer serves you, okay? You've paid attention to all the signs coming in and you planned your move. So some of you may have already done that. Some of you may be in the process this week of doing that. Just don't get caught up in other people's battles here, okay? Uh, walk away, pick your battles wisely the four of wands again a beautiful card of celebration this could be celebrating your hard work and effort and the success that you're seeing coming into you at this time this could be an announcement of a wedding a partnership uh, uh, an engagement uh, a birth announcement uh, getting an award graduating whatever the case is you better get ready to celebrate I think you're going to be very busy at the end of the day, you've made this judgment call. You're working hard towards your goals here to, you know, to set yourself up for this success and maintaining your dignity, being cool, not getting involved in any major arguments here. Okay. But some of you may be seeing love come in this week as well. There could be this uh, individual, uh, this individual coming in here to offer their hand to you in affection, attention, respect, and possibly romance. So cleaning house, getting rid of what no longer serves you, making your dreams, throwing your coin in that wishing well, realizing that it has to be a feasible wish that could actually come true and paying attention, listening well to the signs that are coming into you this week. So let's clarify our five of wands you you're going to win this battle okay you've got the not only did you get the five of wands but you could have the five of swords and you could have had struggles here and it could be for some of you a legal battle but know that you're going to win it but you know what you're not you're it's almost as though you wish this argument or this debate or this battle didn't have to be fought uh, but you win it at the end of the day but you're feeling a little bit depleted because of it you wish it hadn't have had to happen. You've got the Ace of Swords on top of the beautiful Two of Cups. Yes, seeing the truth in a situation, being able to stand in your truth, your authenticity, getting the gift of something being revealed here. Judgment call. Maybe it was a legal issue. A judgment call. You have the Four of Cups. So you were feeling as though you were, you were missing an opportunity here. This is a card that says keep your mind open for new offers, new opportunities, things that are different coming down your path. I think you might have had to deal with something here to make this judgment call. And now you realize that, you know, you're going to be able to move forward. But it's also the card that says beware, be careful of the extremes in which you spend your money or you... Uh, you you spend your energy here. You've got on top of this active card with the Eight of Wands, you've got the Seven of Cups. You might be conflicted. There may be a lot of offers and opportunities coming down your path in the near future and you're going to have to stand and or sit there and think about which one is going to be your best option. It could be a little bit confusing to you. Um, you know, sit down and carefully think what is going to bring you to your greater good. What is going to benefit you the most? Our, our, our Knight of Wands, you have the Two of Pentacles. This is about maintaining your balance. Uh, getting excited is great here with this activity coming forward, whether it's in a relationship or whether it's this wonderful opportunity to step up and move towards something new in your life. Maintain your balance. Don't let your emotions get carried away with you. Don't take on more than you can handle. But I do think you're going to have two opportunities and two offers that you're going to have to make a choice and a decision about as well. And, you know, with the seven here of cups, I think that could be what you're having to make a decision about. <clears throat> 
this the cards here correlating our seven of pentacles taking your time doing things in moderation planning your move you get the magician and the magician says basically you have all the resources at your fingertip if you take your time and you plan your move uh, this is about you creating your own magic magic this is about you being able to realize that you can do this on your own so you could also get some unexpected resources coming in to help you with that situation Maintaining your cool, looking at situations in a kinder, more understanding manner with our strength card. Again, double whammy. Look what you got. Uh, you had the seven of cups. Now you have the eight of cups. You're definitely leaving something behind, walking away from something and realizing there's a better situation or a future ahead of you. You're not there yet. We had the card of balance here and also the eight of cups refers to maintaining your balance, but staying focused, realizing that you are doing the right thing. You are moving in the right direction. You made that judgment call here to go forward with something new so don't be timid don't be afraid you have this ability to see light at the end of the tunnel here with this star card page of pentacles you're going to hear good news good news about money good news about offers and opportunities coming in that could be lucrative and beneficial to your financial part of your life so <clears throat> this is always a good card of good finance when this page comes in again new opportunities fresh to begin maybe it's a new job offer maybe it's an increase or a promotion at your place of employment but you're definitely going to hear good news about finances your celebration card here look what you get happy ever after lands right on top of the celebration card this doesn't get much better when you get the ten of cups it means wishes fulfilled it means you're going to see happiness come in not only in 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 your financial part of your life but basically in the harmony of your family and your relationships with people your love life your you know your romantic part of your life happy ever after knowing that things now are going to work out in your favor this is an amazing read here I mean you've got you've got the victory card you know the 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 six of wands here which is a victory card after hard work and effort you've got a lot of choices and decisions to make but the truth is shown here there's somebody new coming in towards some of you i think this is a beautiful read uh absolutely know that you uh that you are you're going to see happiness celebration come into you wow just take your time planning it and don't get involved in other people's drama this week that's going to distract you well my beautiful Virgos this is your reading for today for this week and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to and again I leave you with this the universe and the divine your higher power want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace so surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness blessings my beautiful souls and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you and my prayers are that you play safe stay safe and be safe and I'll see you soon